Hello and welcome to video 55 in the series here in the Minecraft FTW channel. It's days. And I'm just running along here to the newly completed, fully automated. Uh, well, okay, well, actually not completely fully because this guy here, he's still running collect. Yeah, I've just renamed that to startup. That's it, done. Uh, in fact, let's do it now. Stop. Thank you very much. Ooh, there's already a startup there. Interesting. Let's have a look. Uh, excuse all of the background noise if you can hear anything. Oh, okay, there's nothing there. Maybe I was going to do that or something. I don't know, but anyway. Uh, yeah, nothing I can do about the background noise, I'm afraid. So, delete, start up, and then what do we call this? Collect. Uh, no, I don't think there is a rename function, is there? I don't think so. Um, help rename? Yeah, that's all. It's an alias. Anyway, um, mm, 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 collect start up. Bam! And then if we reboot, should be good to go. There we go, yay, it works. So, oh, okay, just make sure. <laughs> I thought it froze on the screen there for a sec. So now I can switch that on. And drown while I step back because I've put this wall in place here for a very specific reason, as you can imagine. And that is, you know, they can still see me over here, but for whatever reason, they generally tend not to shoot in this direction. Only when I'm stood here, see? One just passed me right there. So, thankfully, this is the only place I have to do this. And then, you know, if you set me on fire in the meantime, you know, it generally goes out quite quickly, but uh, I did have a few fireballs fly off in that direction, and it was quite scary. Luckily, they've landed kind of, you know, around the water here, or in the water, so that's what gave me the initial idea. Plop up a wall and make it up. Whoa, -ho -ho. see what I mean? Look, 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 fire! Okay. You can go out now. Wow, that was scary. Okay, I need to make that a little bit longer on this side, maybe? But over there... Yeah, maybe I'll extend it this way as well, but... Doesn't look like they can get much over there. No, they can't. It usually hits the building. So! Phew! Okay, I'll want to keep an eye on that. <laughs> Good to know and all that kind of stuff. Um. So here we are with the enchantments. I've been letting this run for a while to see what kind of enchantments pop out. Um, I want to say this group in around here is the most popular. Uh, it doesn't seem to make any difference whether there's books around the turtle or not. So, you know, I'm thinking, you know, it's just completely random. So, um,. Let's have a look. What's the most popular one? Power 4, Bane of Anthropods 4, Knockback 2, and I think there was another one up here. No, that was it. So yeah, those are the ones I'm getting most frequently, for whatever reason. I thought it would be much more uh, varied or, you know, random or I, I don't know, but I'm sure over time, you know, as I let it build up even more, it will pop out the odd silk touch or something, I don't know, you know, that kind of thing. And this guy here, I have set it to about, I think it's 15 seconds, something like that, yeah. Roughly about the same interval that books will go into the chest. Roughly. You know, don't quote me on that. Old. And I have the timings, I think, down pretty well. 
there's generally speaking not a lot of drops left lying around in front of it. In fact, here's what happens now. Uh, it will, as it's running through the cycle, uh, look to pick up blaze rods. Then it'll check again to see if there's any blaze rods to pick up because after a while of this running, uh, these guys here will drop, you know, half a stack at a go. So give it a while, and then they'll each accumulate half a stack, and then you know, after that, then they'll start dropping the stuff. So I have it kind of like double check. So as long as he set me on fire again, as long as there's uh, drops in front of it, as long as it's picking up blaze rods, it won't go past that stage. Now, it will get to a stage where it will, how should we say, pass by uh, the drops, you know, doesn't it? <laughs> Seriously, dudes, what the hell? Um, there's never a stage where it'll kind of get stuck and never pass it, you know, it will eventually happen. So, and then, once that passes, then it'll start picking up XP and do the same thing for that. So. If it's still, you know, picking up XP, it won't move past the point of picking up XP until there's none to pick up. So, yeah, kind of like built-in safety feature kind of thing or something, I don't know what you'd want to call it, but, you know, I'm kind of doubly doubly making sure. And then, once it has the XP, it will enchant the book and throw the book out. Uh, the blaze rods, you'll see the extra chests here, this is going back to base. So he just turns around, drops all the blaze rod in there, uh, once he picks them up, and they should always, always sort. There shouldn't ever be a reason why that wouldn't sort, unless, you know, having disconnected for some bizarre reason. And if that does happen, and the chest does fill up, well then this guy will spit out an error and stop telling me, you know, well, hello, I can't fill up the chest, so pretty sweet, and once I leave this running for a while, you'll see the count actually goes up really quick. So, yeah. That's that now. Full, full on action. Fully automated, so, whoops. And then I got this building finished, finally. Let's go in and have a look here. So, these are just like kind of little out of the way crafting areas or something, or you know, put a bit of furniture in, or hang a few paintings, that kind of thing. These will be the main bays. Uh, I'm thinking something like, you know, zombie, skeleton, or vice versa. Uh, don't know, and don't know yet. Uh, I may... I'm hoping, kinda thinking, you know, reserve one for Enderman, but eh. It would be kind of fun to see them jump around, but you know, there's nothing stopping them zipping off somewhere else, so that kind of really won't work. Um, so, yeah, well, of course, we could double up. Uh, I could put something like zombie pigmen in here if I wanted to. Um, ghasts, no, <laughs> wouldn't be feasible. Um, yeah, so I don't know, you know, any suggestions, feel free, drop a comment. Uh, but for sure, anyway, well, probably not creepers. I don't know, you know, I'm not a huge fan of creepers. Or spiders, because, yeah, anyway. <laughs> kind of limiting my options here. Uh, so, yeah, uh, zombies, maybe angry zombies, because they're not falling from the thing now, so. Mm, angry zombies, that might be a good one. For brain collection. Actually, that would be a really good idea. So, angry zombies, skeletons, regular zombies. Although with angry zombies, I wouldn't really need regular zombies, would I? Yeah. Don't know, but you know, you get the gist anyway. Um, I've had to do lots of diggy 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 over at the volcano over there. So, let's have a look, see if we get anything different. Many enchants has it done so far. Three, okay, let's go, check it out. Any new ones? No. Okay, so it's just doubling up on what's there so far. Anything new in the chest? Oh yeah. Bane of Antropods 4. Okay, I think we've got that one already, don't we? Yeah, there. Boo. 
So, you know, I have to kind of bear in mind that the books do travel quite slowly once they get into the pipe system, so, you know, it's worth coming back and checking every now and then. So that's that. Um, the only thing I have left to do now is, in this building, throw in the existing soul shards, run the red wire, and that's pretty much it, good to go. We will gain, you know, probably put a monitor up here or something like that. So you can just like, you know, touch the screen or select from a menu or something like that, I don't know. Uh, I'm not overly familiar with the computer craft stuff, so... Uh, trust me when I tell you to get that spawner on the go took quite a bit of reading and wikiing and, you know, all, I'm <laughs> like I said, I'm not a programmer, so... <laughs> Uh, several rewrites later, you know, two, three, I don't know, four rewrites or something for that uh, blaze farm over there. So I kind of I like how it turned out in the end. Don't get me wrong, quite proud of what I actually managed to achieve. Uh, but like I said, you know, it's not <laughs> not the best program in the world. But it does what I wanted to do, and you know, who cares about anything else? So uh, I'm off back to base. No, that's Twilight Forest. Why am I carrying that book there? What the hell? That's where I'm getting my current books. Hee <laughs> hee Back to base, and we are going to... Actually, was I going to Twilight Forest for a reason? Hmm. I don't know, give me a couple of minutes here to gather my thoughts, and I'll be right back. Well, it wasn't to gather books, if that was it, because I've over a thousand books. <laughs> and I'm back. Okay, so I remember what I was doing with that book in my inventory. It was something really specific. So, uh, yeah, just before I round out the video this time round, I will really briefly run over what it is I was going to do. And uh, this is. Uh, uh, again, a kind of a not so much a viewer requesting, but done specifically for <laughs> a viewer because it's been pointed out quite a number of times um, <laughs> by this particular user. Uh, you guys may have seen it in the comments, and it's from uh, I've, uh, again. I know I'm butchering the name, but you know, excuse me because I don't know how to pronounce it, it's Rochesi, or Rochesi, or, you know, whatever. I'm sorry, dude, you know, or girl, you know, could be either. Anyway, uh, regardless, this is what's been pointed out. Okay, so everybody knows these are silverwood trees from Tomcraft. They look all sparkly and magic. And then, separate to the great woods, sorry, the great the silver tree. There's another one over there. Oh, another one. Uh, separate to those guys. Okay, hello, Mr. Creeper. And yeah, how are you doing? Ha! Come on, damn it. Seriously, if I die over this, I'm going to be really pissed. But <laughs> anyway, it's just a bit of fun. Uh, yeah, those are great wood trees as opposed to silver wood trees, these are great wood trees. Okay, and then separate to those again are these guys here, which I call great web wood trees. <laughs> they're not web woods, they're great woods, but they have web in them. Why do they have web in them? Well, we come around here, do a little bit of diggy diggy. There's a spawner under them. What kind of spawner is it? Well, it's one of those guys. Let's get rid of it. Nasty things. And a chest! Ooh! Meh. Meh. Take those. Yeah. And why not? So, yeah. There we go. Now you know. Pick it up. Pick it up. That's a zombie brain. Pick it up. There's another one. Him, him. Get rid of that. Don't need it. 
take that. Thank you very much. Okay, so there we go. It's been finally pointed out. Uh, great wood tree with, or you know, great web wood. Those guys there, they have web in them, and that's why, because there's a spawner and a chest underneath them. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I think that wraps it up for this one. Um, this is going to be a late upload, so apologies for that. Just so you know, I know about it in advance, kind of thing. So yeah, creeper. Yeah, I nearly died searching for one of those trees because they're like extremely rare. That's the first one I think I've managed to find in any of the worlds I've been on. Village. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. I'll catch you in the next one.